Life in Los Santos, where people meet and have fun. Life in Los Santos, when your friend is your gun. Life in Los Santos, when it's good to be alive. Life in Los Santos, when you're trying to survive. It's 9 p.m. It's Weasel News TV. It's Life in Los Santos with your host, Piers Diamond. Uh, sponsored by Cooper, Cooper, and Cooper. Evening, Los Santos. I am Piers, and welcome you to Life in Los Santos, a program about this great city, the people, and the stories. Coming up on tonight's show. And let's, let's pretend you're live on Weasel News. So I'm going to count you down. And then I want you to say, uh, good afternoon, this is yourself. And then just give me a f some fake news. Just pretend you're doing News at 10 or something. Okay? Okay, give me, give me 10, give, give me 15 seconds to get me, get myself looking right. Okay, yeah, do it. Got a lot of Weasel News viewers wanting to have this interview with you. You're very popular. When you're ready, I'll do the countdown. Again, guys, I am not prepared for this, and I am quite nervous actually because AFCB is an amazing role player. So. Okay, ready. <laughs> All right, here's the countdown then. So you remember what you need to say uh, after you do the countdown. You say good morning, afternoon, whatever you like. Uh, this is yourself, and and you can present some fake news headlines. Yeah. You, you can even do the music. Quick, go. Three, Three two, go. Hello, welcome. Good afternoon. This is myself. Um, just to let you know, we've got news headlines coming in live from Los Santos. A one-eyed tree snake has escaped. Um, there has been a human tree spotted in a road at multiple locations. Um, there is a farting epidemic going around the city. Victims including Sergeant Cartwright, who... who Ooh, farts in hot tubs and vehicles. Um, you you just in? Um, Piers Diamond is recording me. He certainly and is. What about the weather? This is amazing. What's the weather? Doctor Ballantyne is found dead on the highway after someone said ditch the chopper. <laughs> oh no! That's good. That's good. The cam, um, the camera loves you. I got, I got. Did you, um, Sheriff Sheriff Jacobson's got STDs. He leaks. He's got a leaky pee pee. <laughs> uh, yeah, he told us on an interview for about half an hour. The, the Baron, the Baron, Big Bull Baggius, has donated. A large portion of his ball sack to save the life of a one sad sack EMT, senior EMT from life threatening burns. Yeah, that's only Finally, happened. the cat has been rescued from the human tree. A new a new popular mode of transport has taken over the city. It's a piggyback tower with spotted roaming the streets. This is groundbreaking news for everyone that loves a piggyback. My dad loves finger rings from Patrick. We went up. We went up to um, see Patrick's new coffee shop the other day, and um, he gave me and my daddy a, a double finger ring. <laughs> oh, jeez. Um, also, groundbreaking EMTs um, called Larry. He... Um, he sticks eggs up your asses to make sure that they're nice and warm for his surgery. I've been, I've been myself. You've been watching Weasel News with Mr. Piss on the camera. Mr. Piss on the camera, that's me. What, Piss on the um, camera, that's me. Also, also my, Maddie, Maddie Holmes, my little, um, my little love nugget. She let me, um, 
She let me tweak her nipple. <laughs> this is turning to very late night news, of course. Oh, that's amazing. And that is amazing. Cut. Cut. That's the camera loves you. Okay. Hey, I fucking loved it. Did you like that? Fucking yes, we don't know. Yeah, only a yes. few people. Only a few yes. people have ever done that. So yes. you're, one of, you're one of the few. Okay, let let's take you to the casting couch. Let's get this interview. Because I'm sure you're a very busy man. Oh, do you want a hug? No one, no one's ever been this kind to me before. Oh, oh, miss. Well, that was a strange hug, but let's try again, shall we? There you go. You're amazing. You're a very popular person in Los Santos. Thanks, Biff. No, no worries. Uh, don't mind you calling me piss. That's fine. Okay, let's take you to the interview. Oh. Yeah, we've got more spunk machines. There's no spunk in any of these machines. I know, I know. It's the same as the, the hospital. That's got no... Nothing in there either. So we're gonna, we're gonna get you on TV. Yes. Yeah. Are you proud of me? Of course I'm then proud I'm of you. all right. You. you look amazing on camera. Oh, amazing. Weasel News TV I viewers. Didn't like that. Weasel News TV and, viewers and actually w preferred, really wanted you to do this interview. So they're so happy you're actually doing it. Okay, come over here. Just keep it quiet from your your father that you're more popular than him so on TV. Is this is this the casting couch just here, and is this where I get spunked on in the face? Uh, yes, normally, but not by me because uh, well, it's not today anyway. If you want to sit down, we can uh, we can get this interview sorted it for, uh, sorted out for you. Even though yeah, I have, brilliant. Uh, even though I have not prepared it, I'll still do my best. Um, are you are you are you going to be sitting in that chair? Uh. I would love to sit in that chair, but sadly, it does not let me. But anyway, I'm going to get the camera out, and are you going are to you, be alright? Are you going to film this? I'm going to are film you going this. To be recording it. Yeah, this is for Life in Los Santos. Am I going to be on show. TV? You're going to be on TV. Yes, exactly. When when do I get the fluffer? The fluffer? You'll get uh you'll get the episode as soon as it's done after it's been edited. Are you, uh, are, you are you the fluffer? Are you the fluffer though? I'm the cameraman and presenter. So, okay. your father but, did not have an interview in the end, so you're actually beating him to it. Okay, you can are you, are you, you, gonna, you can go topless if you want to. <laughs> are you... When... Who's going to... um? Who's going to come in and get me all excited? It's not that type of uh, um, TV programme. It's a. Uh, it's. Oh you... fucking hell! My hair's a load of bollocking wank. Look uh, at the fucking state of it. No, that is a. That's a definitely a different hairstyle that you should. Um. I can't. Is that no, a new I look? Can't, I can't. I can't have an interview like this. Well, you can change if you need to. There is changing rooms close by the uh, the HQ if you don't want to be filmed like do, this. Do you have um? Do you have hair and makeup here? Uh, they they've actually gone away from the weekend. So, um, and sadly, and um, I can't really do your makeup for you because I'm not very good at it. Right? Did, were you filming when I was doing the newsreel? Yes, I was filming. Because people are going to think that I've changed my hair by hair and makeup, aren't uh, they? Well, that won't be part of the TV program. That was just a little extra for you, and then you can keep that. Oh I can... no, I wanted that. Oh, I can. I, it's all right. I'll be editing that. I can send that to you. So don't worry. Because I know you like being in front of doing a news broadcast. I think you're a born natural in front of the camera. Is the glamour star Donna K. Babs coming to fluff me up? Uh, she's trying to make it because I know uh, you're a big fan of her. I think she was just doing a Playboy calendar shoot at Los Angeles. So she's trying to catch a plane to join you. Okay then. Uh, let's, let's have it. Let's, let's do, do it. this interview. Yeah. Have you ever seen Life in Los Santos? Do you know the format? No. Nope. Well, we first start about the background of you, 
and then ask why you're in Los Santos and then any hidden talents which is going to be amazing to see I'm just wondering what that's going to be and then quick some quick fire questions by me and then finally the most popular section because you've got a big audience watching you here questions from the audience which will be any question about your life or about your dad anything you want so is that all right with you Okay, if you quickly go and do a sound check, can you just say testing one, two, three? Testies, one, two, three. That's great. Okay. Who's got three testies? I don't know who's got three testies, but I'm sure they're very popular with the ladies. Ujini Kabolikov. Is that a very, uh, is that a nursing rhyme from somewhere? <laughs> Is that, or is he German, Nikobokov? He might be one of those German race drivers I keep hearing about. No, it's it's a it's a Russian guy and he stole he had three testicles. Oh, oh, okay. Yes, it does sound Russian. Russian to me. tennis Russian tennis player. Russian tennis player, of course, of course. Oh, he must be over at the French Open right now. So that's why he's been caught having three testicles. Can you introduce me to Jeremy Beadle? I can. <laughs> if he's still around, then yes, I can introduce you to Jeremy Beadle. And I don't think I can introduce you to Dennis Norden anymore, sadly. But anyway, let, I don't know who that is. Let, let's start. Two fat monkeys up a tree. Two fat monkeys up a tree. <gasps> Uh, yep. Let's start this interview then, Mr. Cheap. So I'm going to count down three, two, one, and then I'll introduce the show, and then we'll take it away. Okay? Are you sure? Are you okay with coffees and drinks? I'm okay, thank you. Okay. Three, two, one. Good morning, afternoon, evening. Welcome to another Life in Los Santos, and we've got a special episode here. This is episode seven of the series, and we got. Him himself, he is very popular with the ladies and the viewers of Weasel News. We've got Mr. Wan Cheat. Good morning, afternoon, evening. How are you? Yay! That's me! That's my name! How are you? How are you doing today? It's so I'm so grateful you're here in Weasel News HQ for this really special interview. Two fat monkeys up a tree. Two fat monkeys up a tree. So, um... Mr. Cheat, I'm going to call you because I'm very polite. What's the background of your character then? So can you give us your story for those who do not know who you are, uh, which is not many. Cause I'm what do you mean character? So uh, background of you. Um, can you let us know your background? Uh, why? Uh, who are you? Because uh, there's some viewers here who have not heard of you, surprisingly, but there's quite a few that wish have heard. I fucking, fucking wish you asked me that earlier because I just had to repeat the whole fucking thing a minute ago to someone else who didn't know who I was. Well, there you go, but right, you're on TV okay. now, so this should be the final time. Um. Okay, give me, give me, give me, give me a minute. Right, so I was born, and um, I grew up. You were born and you grew up. Yes, where were you born? Uh, I'm, I understand it was Rotherham. Is that right? How do you know? Rotherham in the UK. Well, we, news gets around from Weasel News here. Okay. Um, but we don't know much more. I was more. born. <laughs> no, I was born in Chihuahua, Mexico. Mexico. Oh, Mexico. And I moved when I was very small to Rotherham. Oh, okay. So you. Right. Okay. So, let me tell. Let me go into a little bit more detail because this is my fucking show, not yours. It is. It's your okay. show. This is a one cheat exclusive, everybody. Um, I was born and then I grew up. And anything else you'd like to tell us about? Hey, Daddy, look, I'm on the telly. So why did you come it's to Los? Why did you come to Los Santos? Is it to, I guess, to meet your dad? Um, I was put in prison. I I was running drugs for the cartel in Mexico from from two hours up up to um, San Andreas, and then 
I got caught by the by, by the police, and then they put me in jail, and I I I I, I was sharing a, a cell with um with with the blood, some of my friends the blood, and then they said, "What's your name?" I said, "My name's One Cheat," and then they knew they knew Mr. Cheat, my daddy, who I didn't know at that time. And then what they did is they they thought that they would make me like do things against my daddy. And then I met my daddy and he went, Oh my god! Oh my god, look at you, I've got a son. Back in here, who are you? Oh my life. Um, you know when? You're an embarrassment to me. That is You're an embarrassment. It's that's such an amazing impression of and I, Mr. I, and I was like, Daddy, no, please. I didn't, I didn't do it. And then, a bit, uh, can I get a bit closer? I, I, um, I said to him, is that awkward? That is a bit too still close. See me? It's a bit too close. Um, come to where this step is. You can get that close. No, I'll, I'll, I'll come, I'll come back here in a minute. Look, look everybody. I'm one of your trees. You are. You're definitely a tree with green hair. You can't even see me. No, no. I don't know what's... I don't know. Does, can any of the viewers hear any voices? I can't clearly hear any voices because we've got a nice tree with a green, green head there. I'm a tree. He's definitely a tree. And we've definitely got a tree which is and he's gone. He is there he is again. Uh I knew this was gonna be tough. <laughs> this is gonna be the hardest interview ever. That's a helicopter. Yeah, I'm a helicopter and a plane. And you're taking off and you're landing on Weasel News. You know Weasel News has actually got a helipad at the top. Interesting. Oops. Uh. So, piss. Yes. So, um, um so, let, yeah, that, what's, that's what's, me really. That's the 26. great. 26. My name is Wan Jeet. 26 and so what was your first meeting with your father can you describe it um he smacked me in the face said i don't have a son okay that's not the best way to start a meet with your father and son i'm, I'm sure did the relationship get better between you two though um it it's been a bit of a roller coaster really bit of a ronan keating he, roller coaster ride first sometimes he says Oh no, but you're my son, nobody hits you but me. I'm the only one to smack you about. And then sometimes he um he burns me. He with, burns you with petrol cans and sometimes he he likes to he likes to put my head under the tap under the water with a flannel in my mouth. My god, this is a strange and, way of him and, showing his love uh, to you. And other times he um he he said um it's bloody difficult. <laughs> I I walk undercover for the bloods, and um what did you do with the bloods? Was there anything you can um reveal that you did for the bloods? Um, did you actually? Um, yeah, I I I did um I did a bank many robbery. Good many did, good things. Many good things. I did a jewelry store. I did um. I went and um, I went into. Uh, my daddy said that I had to get one of the bloods to come out to long chetties in the back in the back alley, go along to the chetties, and then I did all of the painting and decorating at the bloods hideout. I did all the graffiti. That was you. I can, I can paint, you see. You're a very yeah. good. You're a very well, good they artist. Did it, they did. They they painted over it with other stuff. Oh. Okay. I just I just threw the red paint at the wall. 
But that is art in some places, just throwing paint at a wall. Some, some people. Um, I also stole the car. I, I robbed the sweet shop because I wanted some flying saucers. Um, oh, flying saucers. I, I took a, I, I, I took a, I did a pee pee in the hospital. I did a pee pee in the nightclub. I did a pee pee and a poo poo in the police station. Well, um, you, ha you have to do it somewhere, I guess. I remember flying saucers. I tried to, I tried to drown Madeline Holmes up Ooh. at the dam. Why? But then I tried to rescue her. Well, I wanted her to, to... I wanted her to be a girlfriend. And she said I had to be a good criminal. She said I had to be a better criminal than I was a person. So have you currently got and a so girlfriend then? Is, uh, well, I stole her car. I ah. kidnapped her. I, I stuck, stuck her in the... Stick her in the passenger seat and drove her car into the lake reservoir at the top of the dam. And that's probably why she said no. And then made her walk all the way home with her high heels on. Oh, God. <laughs> that is a bit of a journey, if I can remember correctly. Oh, yeah, it took her about three days. Three days? Oh, crikey. Yes. She was fucking pissed I when bet she, she got was. back. I bet she was. Is there and any, then, any other... I made her... I'm, I'm talking here. It's my fucking interview. Stop butting in. <laughs> Carry on. Then I robbed the jewelry store, and I gave her all of the ring. I gave her one special ring so she could stick a finger in my ring, and I gave her twenty grand. And what was, what did she say? Hmm. Was she grateful? She said, you, you... She, she said, I'll take the ring, but to be honest, I need 150. She would need 150. She said, I need 150 K. rings. And I said, yeah, I'm only marrying one person. And she said, well, I'm keeping my options open because you're a wanker. <laughs> Is there any other potential girlfriends? That oh, you've and seen? I got milked. I got milked at the hospital. You got milked? Yeah, yesterday I got milked. By, is that By an operation? Rus a Russian, Russian EMT called Donica. They made me purr like a cat. Can you purr Can like a cat for us? Her? Right now? <coughs> that sounds just like a cat. So, um, it was. how many pints can you deliver of milk per day? 17. 17? That's more than Cartwright, I'm guessing. Is it quite common then? Milking? Uh, well, Cartwright's had a similar operation, I've, I've heard. You you know what they said when you when I was there? They said, would you like me to be the cat? Oh, cat with the cream, maybe. No, no, it's, it's, it, they said, would you like me to be the cat? Good, good pussycat, good pussycat. <laughs> were you, uh, were you went... given some whiskers? <laughs> No, they didn't. They didn't feed me. Oh God! You must be a very hungry person then. Very hungry pussy, yeah. So did you? Did you have any other? I could do anything for you if you if you want to shove anything in my pussy. I'll be really grateful. Well, maybe some cheeseburgers <laughs> and a taco. Yeah, shove shove a taco in my pussy. That'd be great. The spicy taco. That'll probably make you uh, go really fast. We got a fishy taco. Uh, no, I ran out of those, sadly. You have to ask uh, Rafiki's Garage for those. Make sure I get soft shell, though. I don't really like the crunchy uh, ones. Oh, yeah, no, yeah, you don't want a hard shell. No, you want the soft shell, exactly. So, uh, the viewers have been asking me questions, uh, especially about your love life. Is there any other ladies out Jesus in the city? Jesus Christ! Jesus Christ! Oh, on earth have we sacrificed? Oh, my God. Do you even remember that song? So you've got a very good uh, memory Jesus for a 26-year-old, Mr. Cheat. Superstar. Are you a musical theatre fan? I, I love them. I love them all. Name one. Um, I let's name. Well, I. Uh, you're of course you're you're amazingly looking. You're better looking than your your father. So you must have the girls really trying to grab some of the cheat, maybe. So is there any girls out there currently that you've set your eyes on? If it's not Madeline. Is that a musical? 
could well potentially will be a musical by the time we finish this interview yes Juan Cheat the musical Juan Cheat the musical who would play you though me you play yourself okay who'd be your leading lady then the leading lady would be Madeline Holmes Madeline Holmes so you've only got eyes for Madeline Holmes she's uh, slightly uh, Older lady, I may I say? I only have eyes for Maddie. You've got an amazing singing voice there, Mr. Cheat. So we're going to... I only have eyes for her. And when I take her up the dam, I'll show her all I can. Because I would like to live my life with her. You should have a recording contest. Because Maddie Mr. is the one I love. And I would like oh, to wear this. her like a glove. So what's that song title called, Mr. Cheat? Uh, Maddie is the one? It's part of the musical, Maddie the Musical. Oh, you, are you starting to write a new musical about Maddie? Because I'm sure she would like this. She, I, I'm, I'm going to do it when I get home. Ah, well, I'm let's, just, let's I, know. I, 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 that's copyrighted. By the way, if anyone steals that song, it's copyrighted, you bastards. Yes, it's copyrighted. Don't worry. Uh, we'll let people know that they can't copy what you just sang. Uh, so... Next part of the interview, Mr. Chit, is uh, any hidden talents? I'm sure, I think you've just shown us a couple, like you are a tree and a helicopter. Have you got any more that you can show the viewers of Weasel News TV? Um, Let's just put it this way, um, that we've had some karate kicks, we've had some singing, some amazing singing. We've had a Devon and a my golf club. Did, my daddy did tell me how to do a flip. Oh, the famous flip. Hancock actually showed us that, but let's see your version of the flip. The favourite, this is he's the He's a wanker. I don't, he, he's trying to steal my daddy's businesses from underneath me and it's my birthright. It's my fucking birthright, you wankers. Yes, that's why we're here for Weasel News TV doing your interview. Cause to show your aspect of this story, which I was going to mention Hancock, later. Hancock, Hancock, I'm, I'm, I'm going to show you that I'm better than you are. You, 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 I know you are, you said you are, so what am I then? Here we go, Mr. Cheat. You got your, you got the viewers here of Weasel News watching you. State your claim for your father's uh, pizza place, which does not sell pizzas but sells burgers. There we go. Yeah, that's fine. We've got you in focus. It's mine. I'm telling you. I'm fed up. I'm the, up here. With your... You just came in, Los Santos. My daddy told me, just because you found him, stinking of his own piss, living in a piss tent with Dave, underneath Los Santos Freeway, and you offered him an out, you said, I know where I can sell coke. I know where I can sell cocaine, motherfucker. Keep the question. And I said, I'm, I'm his blood. I'm half his... I'm half his ball bag. He, he laid down with my mother called Juanita 26 years ago and nine months. And that's when his, his, it's amazing really because his swimmers, he was always said that had about four heads. And because of the accident of the amount of cricket balls that kept hitting him in the testicles. I think you have a strong case there, Mr. Cheat, of inheriting your father's empire of one pizza restaurant. It's it's my away. It's my fucking inheritance. Well, Mr. Hancock, and I'm going to prove it. I'm going to prove it to everybody. Everybody. How are you going to prove it? You'll see. There we go, Mr. Hancock. Mr. Cheat here has now stated that Lucchetti's is his place. It's its birthright, so I hope you're watching here. Okay, that is definitely, uh, we definitely know about that. Uh, so, we're going to go to some quick fire questions, Mr. Cheat here. Uh, I'm going to say some questions and I want some quick replies from you, and then we've got questions from the audience, which is uh, always a highlight of the show. So, Gimps. Okay, if, okay. You, 
If you were in a fancy restaurant, Mr. Cheat, and you can invite two people, alive or dead, who would they be? Donut kebabs. Of course, yes. And um, my, my, my mummy. Your mum. Ah. She's dead. Oh, I'm, I'm so sorry to hear that. Um, what's your favourite sport? Stumped in, I know. Uh, Stumped wanking. Me. Which uh, I've been told is not going to be an Olympic sport this year, sadly. Because they're a bunch of tossers, though, I guess. Ha 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 ha. My, my favourite my favorite sports are water. Water, water sports. Okay, that's, that's good. Uh, what's your favourite car? I'm sure you've got loads of cars you like trying to drive. My, my, my favourite car is um, the Dukes of Hazard toy. Oh, yes, they're very good cards. I remember the Dukes of Hazard, showing my age. Um, some more questions for you then. Uh, who's your favourite film star? Okay, guys, get the questions ready. Because I haven't got many. Um, there's so many to choose from. Uh, give us a, um, a male or female then. Give us anyone. It doesn't matter. It doesn't. It's it's your show, remember? So anything. I mean, I've got I've got quite a few. I've got Candy Socks. Um, I've got Johnny Sins. Um, all of the Tweenies. <laughs> the Tweenies. Not the Teletubbies. Dinosaur then. Dinosaur from Barney and Friends. Ron Jeremy, Tara Reid, Bugs Bunny, Stephen Porkin, Warwick the. Tw <laughs> Bagpuss. Macaulay Culkin, but only as a kid. When he grew up, he became shit. Um, Mr. Tumble, Pee Pee and Popo, Rory the Racing Car, and Mini Me from Austin Powers. Ah, yes, yes, yes. I I know Mini Me. Okay, Mr. Chip, we've got questions from the audience. Final part of the show. Again, thank you so much for all. Oh, doing and this. the guy from the Churchill adverts. You know the Churchill dog. Uh, the one who just keeps nodding all the time. Oh yes. Can you do an impression of him? Oh, yes. Ah, that's the impression. Okay. Right, we've got some questions from the audience. We've got many questions here from Mr. Chief. This is how popular you are, especially with the ladies at the moment. So, the first question is, um, where do you see yourself in five years' time? And this is from uh, Lazy Bear. At in 31. That's what I thought you were going to say. <laughs> <laughs> Louisiana. <laughs> Where do you see yourself maybe in um, job opportunities in five years' time? I thought I'm, I'm hoping that. to be in Madeline Holmes. Literally in Madeline Holmes' is, uh, home. <laughs> no, in her. In her, literally in her. It, it, doesn't, it doesn't have to be at the home. Anywhere. Um, another question. What's your favourite game? This is for... Uh, picture matrix over in pennsylvania normally what i do is if i'm if i lie down on if i lie down on my back i like madeline piss on my face and i gotta see how much i can take without without squirting any uh, any drops out this is definitely hide, we, we, we we play hide the wheelchair and hide the sausage at the same time at the same time, that is a, that's a definitely a skill. I'm so glad this has been uh, recorded after the watershed here hour here at Weasel News TV. Um, again, viewers, if you uh, would like to ask Mr. Cheetah a question, please send it to our uh, live uh, tablet feed. Um, another question here from RDP uh, from uh, Boston. Did I ask you to stand on crutches to help me get in the mood? Uh, stand on crutches. Can we do that? Don't know. I don't think I can. I don't think we've got any crutches in the building, I'm afraid. Uh, good question Danny, is, um... why is your hair that colour? This is from a, a viewer in Boston. Um, what happened was, I, my daddy said, go in and get your fucking hair cut. Go and get your fucking hair cut, Wayne, you fucking embarrassment. And then I went, he goes... And, I, and and have a shave too. And Because uh, viewers, if you can see, what I did is, if you can see the back of his head, you can uh, see the famous cheat bun there. There we go. There it is. 
So you can see, and he's got very hairy chest as well. And back. And back. Um, um, ammonia in the pith changed the colour of my hair and my beard. What? Um, viewers are then asking, what is your favourite colour? Pith. pith it, is, it is that colour. Oh, wow. Okay, what do you ultimately want from your daddy? His love or his business? That's a good question, actually. That's, uh, um, I, I, I don't care for... I don't... Money can't buy me love. I don't care for money. Money can't buy me love. I just want my daddy. And you want my to hold... can't buy me love. And you want to hold Madeline's hand. Eight days a week. Uh, indeed. I want to hold her hand. I want to hold her hand. Money can't buy me love. That's true. Since yesterday. But all you need is love. Indeed. <laughs> yes, I'm a Beatles fan. Next question. As a tree, have you ever suffered from woodpeckers? And <laughs> that's from Picture Matrix of Pennsylvania. I, I have. Um, I often get a wooden pecker. When, whenever Madeline's around, I, um, my, my pecker always goes to wood. It gets very hard, I, I heard. Very hard type of wood, is that right? Yes, yeah, at least for about two and a half minutes. Wow, two and a half a minutes. Good um, good, some Maybe good Maybe not even that long. I mean, that's including shaving shaving the wood and maybe sanding it as well. Oh, you have to... It spits at birds, you know. I know, you have to keep when an eye on your wood. When birds try and come and peck it, I go, oh, it cries. It cries lonely tears. Uh, we don't want to see it crying, do we? More questions, please, everyone. Um, what is your f most favourite encounter with the police here at Los Santos? Have you got any Big stories? Big white sap. <laughs> Have you got any any stories about you and the police? I'm sure you've been with them a few times, because you've been you told us you've been to prison. And Anywhere. Stuff. Say again. We see. Uh, we see St stories with the police. Uh, any. Stories you like to tell us the viewers about? Any encounters? Funny encounters? Fucking yeah, fucking burn them all. Burn them all. Apart from apart from Lieutenant Taylor. I, I like Lieutenant Taylor. Is there any? He always just goes. Oh, oh dear. Hello, Wan. Oh dear. What have you got yourself into now, Wan? Have you been in Lieutenant Taylor's chopper yet? Um, no, I haven't, but he did offer me to sit on his lap. Uh, you, should, you should take him up and off and let him take you up into his chopper, because he's a very good pilot. And Dudley. Oh, Officer Dudley. Um, I've never met Officer Dudley. What is he like? Some say he, 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 he's a babbling fool. And some say... But I think he's okay. Trouble is, he could be a right fucking boring bastard. Um, and then what happens about two or three o'clock in the morning, he goes mad, crazy, every day. He's a sociopathic evil bastard. <laughs> Have you had any dealings with the certain Dr. Ballantyne? He's, a, he's another famous character who we sadly never had an interview with, but... Um... Many people have mentioned his name in previous interviews. What's your opinion of this doctor? Have you ever met him? I never met him. But I did go to the hospital a few times and I got milked in the hospital. Um, but he did make me like a fucking orange. <laughs> okay. Uh, is there any other um, people you admire on your travels here at Los Santos during your stay here? Mm. Um. Actually, you know what? I did meet him. You did. I sang Mika together with Mr. Dr. Ballantyne. I sang Mika. We sang Grace Kelly together. Can you give us a verse of Grace Kelly again? We did it together. We went. For those who have missed it. Um. 
I could be brown, I could be blue, I could be violet and sky. I could be apple, I could be purple, I could be anything you like. Rather be me, rather be me, rather be anything more. Why don't you like me? Why don't you like me? Why don't you walk out the door? That Why is... you kick me out the door? Oh, they kicked you out the door. That is an amazing impersonation of uh, uh, Ballantyne there. You've got a really knack for voices here, Mr. Cheat. Has anyone told you that? A hidden talent of voices. Um, I get it from my daddy. He, he does it as a bit of a bit of a job, bit of oh. a sideline. He's not very good at it. He, he, he doesn't have much of a career, but he, tr he tries. He tries. He tries really, really hard. Can you give us your best impression of, um, let's give this, this, this. I wish I could fly, my hopes in the sky, but I can't, you can't, I can't. That's Orville. Uh, you've got the hair for Orville. Uh, let's, let's see if, let's do your, uh, um, impressions here. Let's give you a little bit of test to end this interview with then. Can you do a good impression of Cartwright, who, again, I've never met, but I've heard many stories about him. Oh, uh, um... Oh, uh, well, I've, um, I don't really know. Um, how do, how, how do you... I'm right there, I'm right there. I thought one was an absolute genius idea, but it's the fucking vessel that it moves in. Welcome, everybody, to completing it, mate. <laughs> that is very good. Is that, is that okay? That is very good. Um, what about... Of I, course... oh, I've got an impression. I've got... Uh, no, wait, 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 wait. Go, go. No, I might need to come up. <laughs> Oh yes, I've heard he's had... Uh, uh, that's funny, that's funny. That is funny, that's very funny. I've heard he's had a bit of a fart problem. It's amazing where the news comes from that uh, the, one of the biggest headlines... One of the biggest headlines of Los Santos is Cartwright I've got, I've got having a farting problem. I've got one for you. Go on. Please go ahead. Um, Cartwright has got a... Oh, here we go. He's crossing his arms. Oh, <laughs> there's the... Ch oh, oh my God. With the extra farting noise. Where did that happen first? That's Cartwright. That is an Im amazing impression of Cartwright. Uh, just um, one or two more, then I'll, I'll let you go, because I know you're a busy man um, trying to get your business from your dad. Um, yeah. Car Cartwright's got a favourite partner, is Jacobson. Can you do an impression of Jacobson for us? Who, in, who was actually in Life of Los Santos episode 2, uh, episode 3. Okay, yeah. Take that, you fucking drongo! <laughs> look, at, look, at my, look at my fucking kangaroo cock, you fucking galah! And now I'll go for an afternoon. Uh, no, I'm fine. I'm flipping how? What just happened? Uh, that, that's Jacobson. Uh, okay, well, sorry about that uh, slight interruption there, guys. But we've just had. Uh, I've just been given an electric shock, and I've just had a bit of feedback from the camera as well. So I might have to go to hospital to have this. But I'm fine. I'm fine. Okay. Um, Let's go for, uh, what about Rafiki? Do, have you ever met Rafiki at the garage, the, the owner of Leia's garage, who's now Rafiki's um, garage? So. All right, there, Scatter Cushions. Uh, would you like your uh, car looked at? We, 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 could, uh, we could give you a nice quick big turbo so we can. You see them two houses on top of the hill over there? Mine's the one in the middle. <laughs> That is very good. Um, of course, we have to ask, can you do an impression of the lady herself, Madeline Holmes? She's got a very posh British accent, hasn't she? Lovely boy, lovely boy. Um, one, what in God's earth are you doing, you fucking moron? I guess she says that a lot. Get your fingers out of my lady pocket. <laughs> Your le my lady locker is not for you without invitation. And we've got just one final in uh, one final impression, if you may, because a lot of people are asking this. Can you do a good couple of lines of the doctor himself, Doctor Valentine? 
What would you like me to say? Uh, I'm going to perform an animal operation, then think Uncuff of Uncuff me now, Juan! You buffoon! Yes? That... Sorry, I was still doing Madeline. That's, that it's sounds like Madeline. She's lodged in my brain. Um, of course she is, because you're in love with her, that's why. Uh, do Dr. Ballantyne's doing a animal operation, make the animal operation up, it's completely up to you, and yeah, because viewers are thinking you right, can do a really okay, good Ballantyne. Right, you got to come in here, oh fucking hell, we got a right steak, oh, look, look at it, look at the mess of these downstairs down here, oh piss, oh you got piss leaking all the way down here, oh, I, I don't know if it's, uh, I don't know if it's supposed to look like this before the accident or after it, because... To be honest, it looked like nothing's wrong with you apart from a, an absolutely misformed genitalia. Um, that is amazing. Now, to, uh, cheat. The only thing that I can do is uh, take that off and maybe maybe give me the PP of a uh, porcupine. <laughs> porcupine. Well, I've heard Mr. Jacobson's got a kangaroo cock. Is that true? Um, well, it's. He keeps uh, saying it's I, true. I believe it is. Yes, I believe he, it he is true. He showed it to people. Oh, he keeps showing it. Okay, it must be true then. Well, that that is the end of the Life in Los Santos interview special here because uh, there was only meant to be six episodes, but we've got a seventh because when Juan's in the house uh, in the city, people wanted to speak to him, and we finally have managed to get you here at Weasel News HQ. Many thanks, uh, Juan, for the interview, and I uh, hope you enjoyed it. This has been Juan Cheat, signing off for Weasel News. That's amazing. And if you ever need a job at Weasel News, then please, please contact us. Thank you. Hancock and the Bloods, I'm fucking coming for you. There we go, Hancock and the Bloods. Watch out. Cheat's in the house. <laughs>